just very briefly, I think uh, you can you can see me like this, and I'm already uh, we're already on stage above everybody, so I prefer to sit. My name is Dorian Baxter, and I'm very very grateful that you have taken time out of your evening to be here tonight. I used to live in this riding and I still have family still living here and I want you to know that I represent the original party of Sir John A. Macdonald. We are the party that refused to allow the fraudulent merger between Stephen Harper and Peter McKay. We are the real PC party. We sued the Harper regime and we seized back the PC name. We are now known as the Progressive Canadian Party of Canada. Now, think of investments as what they are. When you invest in something, you want to take out more than you put in. So when foreigners come to Canada to invest in our resources, invest in everything here, they don't need to help us. They need to take out more than they put in. The Maple Party opposes these things. Far too long we've been paying work prices for gas, except for a long weekend, and we seem to pay a Canadian price. The Maple Party says we should do things for ourselves here, and get the foreigners out of Canada, all the interests. Thank you. I've talked to university students who have $90,000 of debt and are happy that they got a job as assistant manager at Starbucks. This has to stop. It stops with the money. We go back to the Bank of Canada, and we stop globalization. And I'm very interested in hearing if the three large parties support globalization. Are we truly going to stand up for this great nation of ours called Canada? We need free trade out the window. It's got to go. We don't need free trade with China. How are we going to compete with China? I don't understand that at all. It makes zero sense. Secondly, make Canada a pay-to-play nation. If you want to do business in this country, you got to pay to do business in this country. We watch corporate taxes go from 20% down to 12% while we're carrying the rest of the debt on our backs. And that's just not right. Thank you, Nick, for that question. Uh, one of the reasons that I myself got involved in politics uh, quite a while ago was because I was seeing the voter, voter apathy and the cynicism that you mentioned, and I thought I wanted to get myself off my couch and, and involved. Uh, when good people don't stand up, uh, uh, these are the things that can happen. So it is incumbent upon all of us in this room really to take care of this. On the specific example that, that you cited, uh, it's one example. I think it's, it's being investigated, and as the Prime Minister has said, and as our party has said, we will be cooperating fully with any investigation. If there's any evidence that uh, is out there, we, we certainly welcome anybody to bring it forward, because it's not certainly in our interest. Uh, any wrongdoing like that. And so personally, all I can say is that uh, I certainly don't uh, uh, appreciate that, and I, I think it's bad for democracy. Um, and as I said, we will be cooperating fully with any of the authorities in any investigation, and we would, we would like more, no more than anybody else to get to the bottom of this. Uh, for example, ours is the only party, Elizabeth May is the only parliamentarian who opens her budget to, to everybody. Um, I would like to see more transparency all across the board. What's happening with these robocalls steps beyond just transparency, it is criminal, and somebody should be charged. First of all, it doesn't surprise me, it doesn't surprise me there is a, a, some sort of corruption in Ottawa. I'm just wondering. Well, the great thing about the climate gate hoax exposure a couple of years ago is that we don't need a carbon tax. More carbon just means more trees. Now, they're scientists. They use the trick to hide the decline. That hockey stick graph, complete fraud. There was a bump of medieval worm period. They fraudulently massaged the data. And then they admitted they used the trick to hide the decline. Now, I'm offended. I have a real science degree. I think I'm like anybody else up here. Electrical engineering, grade 17, for real. And when I hear they use the trick to hide the decline, and the temperature's been declining for the last 10 years, that lets me pull out my $100 bill and say to the NDP and to the Green and anybody else who wants to bet that the temperature's going up, I bet it's been going down for 10 years, and those crooked environmental green scientists have been lying to us. I don't really like this question. <laughs> Is that fair?
fair to say? Um, it's a very complicated question. The answer is complicated. I'm not sure I have one that will... I'm, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I don't... Well, Mr. Trudeau said that the government doesn't have a right to, to know to be in our bedrooms. So, does the government have a right to be in our hard drives? <laughs>